Right, here's all the contents to the seat back. That's a uh, 40 degree Montbell spiral hugger sleeping bag. There is the new Cuban fiber 325 gram, 7 foot long, 28 inch wide, 12 inch thick, waterproof breathable bivy that I made yesterday. It has e-vent on the top with a small screen opening for my face and it zips almost down to my ankles on the side so it's real easy to get out and stay ventilated all that stuff uh, I, I kind of like like being able to just roll over and take a pee in the middle of the night instead of having to get up so that'll make it really easy to do that that's a full length Neo Air Pro pad super nice haven't had any trouble I uh, noticed JP complained about his on his last Tour Divide ride, but that's been on uh, basically two and a half AZTs, Colorado Trail, Coconino Loop, and countless other rides around here in the desert, and I do not have a hole in it yet. And those are Louis, Louis Garneau rain pants, and then there are three dehydrated meals. One is a shrink, the, the pro uh, mountain house one where they shrink wrap the thing or suck everything all the air out. The others are just the standard ones that come in like the survival packets that are still super light, super tasty. You can throw the water in them, let them soak for about half hour to 45 minutes. You don't have to heat it up and they taste great. So everything's going to go in there. So let me... Pressure strap on the inside of the bag. This is the Fat Man bag. You're definitely not be able to get all this in here in a little boy. A little boy is a lot smaller. Made for people with smaller frames and full suspensions. Set it down. I have room for probably another meal or two in there or some clothes if I feel the need. Here. The top compartment I've got a little bit more lube, like some oil based lube. Two sets of batteries for my spot. These are triple A's that are hard to find and they're expensive, so I went ahead and bought a bunch. I wasn't planning on tracking full time, but I think I will now. And the spot tracker right there. So that's in the seat bag. Up front, on the dash. Cue cards, front and center. 
the distractor and time suck will go right here, aka the phone. The phone will go in this part right here. And then this is where the goods are. In here, I have a 10,000 milliamp cash battery. It will charge two things at once. And I can get this fully charged in about eight hours of riding uh, from the Dyno Hub. And that'll charge my phone three times. And it'll charge my lights as well as my other stuff. There is a charge controller that was made by some of my students at my high school for me. And I have a set of double A's and a charger for my GPS. So I don't have to buy any double A's. I've got a spare cable. And then I also have a cable in here that will run to this sweet Diablo Mark V, or yeah, the Mark V Diablo light. And if that dies, my dyno will run it. Even at a slow speed, it'll run it on high. Now I've got another attachment for a second light for my backup light. It'll fit here. It doesn't really fit in this attachment very well. Just a light little rubber attachment. Nice to have a little backup one in case I need it. And then the E-Trex 20. Uh, I've lost my little rubber tip on this so it looks a little different from other E-Trexes. But it's just right there. So this is nice and handy. Everything's right there. Um, not too heavy. This cash battery is kind of heavy. But I don't really notice it. Running the vision bars. Uh, some OEM stem off of a felt bike. Um, the wood chipper bars, 105 rear shifter, uh, Ultegra front shifter. I'm running a Velocity Blunt SL rim on the front on the dyno. Built the wheel myself through axle on the uh, S uh, Shutter Precision dyno hub. Running TRP Spire brakes with the compressionless cable. Those have been pretty sweet, other than the fact they got recalled right after I got them in. They were recalled and I rode them for up until spring break and finally got a new set. XT non-clutched non-Denesis rear. Uh, if you get a clutched Denesis, it will not work with the 10 speed road shifters. So I'm running a 10 by in the rear, 1136, and then a 2842 in the front with 180 cranks. Because I'm big like that, king cage down low. I'll probably put a little uh, condom cap kind of thing over my bottle to keep poop out. XTR front derailleur, Chris King bottom bracket. And I've got barrel adjusters here and here for the shifting. And then this is a, uh, a NOG blinder light. It is ridiculously bright and it's USB chargeable. Tank bag, uh, it's a, a variation of my Titan tank bolt on. It holds a ton of stuff. I've got my toothbrush and toothpaste, a uh, chamois cream bottle, some meds in here, and then a bunch of food and of course some business cards because people are always asking about my stuff and I hardly ever carry cards so I figured I'd put in 10 here and 10 more in my drop box that I'm sending up to Steamboat. So let's take a look at that next.